Yeah, that doesn't make it. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to work with me with cleaning this place up? It'll be a lot of cleaning and tidying. Plus, we have to move the chairs to the corner. Are you all right, princess? <sighs> That's a relief. You didn't twist your ankle, did you? You were right, princess. You were fine. I'm so sorry about Do you have call? What do you think of the... Do you think the company... You're welcome. Praise... Hello, princess. Really? You did not have to do that, princess.
<laughs> Sorry, I was simply reminded of home. The castle, mainly. Despite us not being there anymore, it was still our home. We grew up there our entire lives as brothers. There wasn't a day that went by when we weren't all doing something exciting. It was an empty excitement, of course, but it was still something that bonded us all together. You wish to know more? Would you like me to show you something instead? Watch closely. Just watch. That's our castle. It's a wonderful place. Servants and parties galore. <laughs> Very much so. He despises dancing and socializing, so he makes the throne his home. We don't know. When we left, we didn't look back. However, we are sure he's still there, since no one followed us out of the abyssal plains. Yes, princess. I'm fine. I just used too much energy, that's all. Please don't worry, princess. I'm fine. Don't worry your beautiful head about it. Princess, what are you doing? Well, I've, I've already taken your energy once before. I just... You spoil me.
completely full, and yet I still desire you. You've spoiled me, my princess. I am eternally grateful that you let me indulge like that. Have a good rest. My name. My true name isn't Eric, miss. I want you to know my real name, if something were to happen. My name is Uzeris. If you are in any danger, call my name. I promise that I'll come and help you.
Did you miss me? You really are evil at its core. Kidnapping an innocent woman like you did? It's disgusting how we demons are confused for your kind. <laughs> Look at this little man whore Eric right here, boys. Might as well sleep with a disease. Oh, ho, ho. pretty boy thinks he has balls, huh? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, time to make this pretty boy a bitch. What the? What is that? Did you expect me to come unprepared the second time around? Thanks to my lovely princess, I can now use the full extent of my powers. Unfortunately for you, that means I'm afraid you will lose this fight. You cocky little shit! Persistent. I guess I'll have to go all out on you to finally rid the world of you. It's me. Don't look.
Eric, enough! I just had to be sure he was dead. No use in letting him have a chance to revive. You're getting sloppy, Eric. You've lost your glamour spell. It's a spell that makes us look human. Like demons. Well, not for much longer. Here. Ah, uh, there we are. Thank you, Matthew. Let's just get you home, miss. There's nothing more to see here. Princess, you've been such a wonderful help to us already. But I'm afraid that I must ask more of you. I've grown fond of being here and of serving you. Would you allow us to stay? All right, everyone. We're all very tired, so let's head to bed, shall we? Oh! Yeah, sleep is actually a thing. Right. We've had a very long day, but it will be good to just relax tonight and tomorrow. Sleep sounds really good right now. Yeah, man. Yet again, you spoil me. I'm very unworthy of you, princess. Listen, about what happened at the warehouse. Come, 
Let's get you to bed. Have a good night, princess. I'll prepare breakfast for you in the morning. She won't harm you, princess. I promise. Tell me which boy is Eric. Really, the sly second with you. All right, then. Well, if it's the second son you're infatuated with, you should really rethink your romantic options. You can go now. Remember, no class for the... You're awake, princess. That's a relief. <sighs> How do you feel? I must apologize, princess. To see you be hunted by both demons and devils? I feel entirely responsible. No, forgive me. But I can't stand the thought of them hurting you. If we had never come, you'd never be in danger. Yes, I'm a noble. My brothers and I are nobles. Well, 
I guess I should say were now, shouldn't I? James was the demon prince when we lived in the Abyssal Plains. The others and I were simply nobles living in the castle, simply because of our bloodline. Should James fail or die, we were the replacements. Well, we didn't want to live like that, as simply replacements over our brother. So we all wanted to leave and be an actual family. Well, to put it simply, it was boring. James was constantly being trained while the rest of us had to constantly entertain ourselves without disturbing him. I, however, was also being trained under the guidance of my mother. Yes, she was a lovely woman. I never knew what she looked like. Our father had multiple wives. James, myself, Sam, and Matthew came from these very women. But tensions grew high when Damien was born outside our father's marriages. In order to quell the tension, our father had a powerful demon mage turn our mothers into simple, floating spirits. They lived, but they could not have physical form. It is, but which is better? A house where the sons of the demon lord could have their birth mothers, or watching these very women claw at each other's throats out of jealousy, leaving the sons with no true parental guidance. Our father didn't have time for anyone but James, so the rest of us needed someone to make sure we didn't grow up to be incompetent. Would you like to see what I mean instead? You kept it. Good. Chiffy, my sweet kitten, you truly astound me. Whatever shall I do with you? <laughs> Stop it! You're making me blush! But what if I want to make you blush? You're so much cuter when you blush, kitten. <laughs> Stop! Incubus, you. I'll get in trouble for sure if I'm caught with you. Then shouldn't we make the risk worthwhile? <laughs> Such a bad incubus. So bad. I should go. Ah. Uh, very well, you until we meet again. <laughs> well, Mother, was that enough to please you? Very well done, dear. Much better than I expected of you. Thank you. You taught me well. That I did. You must never forget, however, to always listen to your women. Serving them is your number one priority. Should they be uncomfortable, 
You must step back and be as submissive as possible. Yes, mother. Good. Now, continue to woo that cat girl. Once she gives you her energy, then you can toss her back out. You don't need any pets hanging around when you find another girl. As you wish, mother. She taught me well, at least what she could teach me anyway. That visage became habit, and now it's a natural persona to me. She taught me to always serve and make the women I met happy. She always said that that was the true Incubus way. It makes sense, no? If I can please and serve any women I meet, then I can surely convince them to fully give their energy to me. It is. However, I know what you're thinking, Princess. I don't blame you for thinking what you are thinking of right now. Who am I exactly? If I am truly not as flirtatious as I act, then what do I act like, and will you be the next victim? I can assure you, Princess, that I am no danger to you. Because, Princess... I don't deserve your trust or energy. You've done so much for me and my brothers. Sheltering us, letting us continue to live here. It may not seem like much, but to a family of brothers without anywhere to go, it means everything. I can't soil your gifts to us by taking anything from you. You've become so important and precious to us. To me. To take anything from you like that would be beyond unforgivable. I could never do that to you. Now, princess, you must get some more rest. You aren't fully recovered, and dinner is a good scent to wake up to. Sleep. Diana, what a pleasant surprise. (laughs) 
<laughs> Such a gentleman. You know how to treat a woman. That I do. However, I'm afraid that my manners will not replace my sickening hatred towards you. Uh, I'm hurt, wounded, truly. Is this how you really address a woman? A woman you may be, but you are an enemy as well. Pity. And here I thought I was going to offer you the chance to become something better than just a simple incubus. I highly doubt you have anything more than what I can have here in the human world. How about becoming the next Demon Lord? Becoming the next Demon Lord? You're overstepping yourself, don't you think? How can you know about who the throne goes to? Well, currently, I'm the contracted bride to the heir to the throne. Since the throne is open, it's available to any son of the Demon Lord's line. Is that so? It is. You'll gain the throne, the land, and a bride to continue your lineage with. Doesn't that sound like a perfect life for an incubus like you? Sorry, but that actually doesn't sound appeasing at all. What? You dare deny! Do not try to raise a tone to me. I am not as submissive as my training defines. You do not scare me. I can bring you to your knees and make you beg to return with me. Such a cute bluff. You don't have enough power to do that, do you? Or else you would have already done it. Besides, even if you did enthrall me, you wouldn't fully own me. I belong to her. The human girl? You must be joking. A human like her can't possibly provide you what you need. She is a human. You're a demon. Well, well, little human. You're awfully nosy in business that doesn't concern you. Does it? I don't think a human would understand the importance of this affair. Oh? And what makes you so sure about that? You... love him. So what? A human's love isn't enough to understand the situation. A demon can never reciprocate human feeling. I love her. A demon love a human? Impossible! Impossible? How utterly dim to think that. 
We are the masters of emotion. We aren't barred away from feeling love. In fact, we can experience it ten times more powerfully than humans. I love her with every single part of my being. However, I don't expect someone like you to understand love. Very well. Fine. Valet. Are you okay, princess? My sweet princess, how you've captured my heart. I'm selfish, ignorant, and undeserving of everything you have done and given to me. The way you accept me and see through my mask astounds me beyond words. And now, you've captured my heart and claimed it as yours to probably the greatest adversary in the Abyssal Plains. You've made a demon fall in love with you. I've fallen in love with you and want to give you everything you deserve. No, I just... If 
you don't want to, we don't have to. I do have to shower after all, and you need your rest. I love you so much.
Well, if I can't return home with the boys, I might as well return home with the power to fight back. May you never regret your choice, human. If you do, I'll happily come and take it away. <laughs> Good evening, princess. Ah, I'm merely making friends with the moon, my love. I wanted to see the night sky. The yard is one of the more perfect places to stargaze, don't you agree? I 
don't deserve you, you know. You're much too wonderful to be loving a demon such as myself. As cliché as it may be, the beauty fell in love with a beast. A beast with an insatiable hunger for lust. Sometimes I forget that you're human. You entrance me better than any demon could. You're truly unbelievable. Are you real or am I dreaming? You'll regret it, I promise you. You'll regret loving someone like me. See? I'm taking advantage of you already. I don't know what I did to deserve you, but I swear to love you till the end of days and beyond. You make me feel so complete. I can no longer imagine what I would do in life without you. Let me stay with you. I love you so much. <laughs> 